Hey everybody, what's up? It's Drew with the Native Fish Tank. Um, this is an unusual one for us. We've got discus, we've got guppies, like a breeding ground, we've got schooling fish, but these guys are natives. This is our pumpkin seed, this is our biggest and baddest bluegill, and then these other little guys here are bluegills. To give you an idea how big they are, that's my hand. I mean, he's probably four and a half, five inches. Um, what I wanted to show you guys, we're working on planting this tank. We've got some hornwort here. Um, we've got a little bit of moss starting on that log, but you know, we um, basically what we did to get this tank started is uh, we fast cycled it with some bacteria that we had already going and we got all 55 gallons of the water from the pond where I caught the fish and they uh, came up to temperature in our dining room slowly and we're going on, oh, a couple maybe three four months with them and they're doing extremely well i have them literally trained to the point where they will eat out of my hands so i just kind of show them on the outside of the glass there's a worm for you and they will literally eat right out of my hands very very cool fish my wife's not as crazy about them because she says that they're aggressive and they're not very pretty but they certainly are fun you know, he missed that one um and i happen to think they're very pretty but yeah, let me get a bigger piece of worm here. Jumps right out of the water and takes them out of my hands. These are super, super cool uh, to have as pets. Obviously, you need to be respectful. Um, you need to be respectful of the animals. If it's something that you're not sure that you want to do, don't just try it because, you know, these fish survived up to the size they are by swimming away from big blobs not towards them now they see me walk in the dining room you know they're very territorial they're very aggressive they all have like their spot in the tank you know if, if, uh, if a guest was to say oh one of them's missing we know where they are because we're used to them they live in our dining room and their aggression goes right out the window when i walk in the room they literally swim up to me like you see here i mean they poke at each other of course but just like a bunch of puppies they just walk up and they stare at me for food so obviously these guys can't you know, live in the wild anymore if they're gonna, you know, walk up to every should-be predator and, uh, you know, expect to get fed. So, just wanted to share this with you guys. Super cool project. We're so glad we did it. They are absolutely awesome to watch. Um, they're in a 55 gallon. We do 25, 30% water changes once a week using Prime. The water we got them out of was a 7.8 because that's the water pretty much all in the area that we live here. Uh, and our tap water, of course, is 7.8 as well. So that's been working out pretty well for the pH. And again, we're just very cautious with um, water quality. We use a large on back bio wheel filter. As you can see, it's rotating there. I do keep charcoal and bio stones in the, in the middle filter there. And I've just reused the, uh, the filter that's there. Realistically, these guys could probably live in a bucket of toilet water, but um, we treat them just as we treat the discus. Constant water changes. Uh, we alternate their diet. Today, I'm showing you guys how they eat worms. If this video gets some views and it seems like there's some interest, I will record the next time my five-year-old feeds them rosy reds. They absolutely hunt and hammer minnows. I feel kind of bad doing it. Uh, my wife feels really bad doing it, but, um, you know, it's like a hundred of them for eight bucks at the store and very, very cool to watch them hunt. So we do that. I have them trained on flakes. What I found to be extremely effective, and I'll make a video of this too, if this gets enough likes or subscribes or whatever, I fill my left hand with um, just large, you know, tropical flakes like I'd use for guppies or whatever and I pinch it and then hold it in the water and it becomes like a ball and they hit that and they get, you know, what would take them five, 10 minutes to eat piece by piece all in one gulp. Cause these are pretty big fish. Um, they, I can literally get them to survive on flakes, but I feed them worms and uh, minnows as a treat. So hopefully you guys like this. I would pretty much record anything you want me to record and put it on this channel if you guys are interested. And if there's any questions on how to successfully raise native fish, I would be glad to answer them as long as I'm held to no <laughs> liability because I'm not even sure it's legal. So anyways, if you like it, subscribe, give it a thumbs up. Thanks.